Hi everyone, Mike Brown back with you again with another lesson in Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 from Educator.com. We've discussed exposure and color corrections to your image. We've discussed making selections to isolate areas for correction. We've discussed how to adjust the edges of the selections so that you get flawless blends. Now we're going to discuss another very, very powerful feature in Photoshop Elements, and that is layers. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what layers are, layer basics, and we're going to talk about adjustment layers, a very powerful feature that even goes a step beyond the regular layers. So let's get started. Here's a layer sample. This, I want to open this up right back to where we started from. First off, the layers panel itself resides on the right side of the workspace and across the option bar at the bottom you see the layers icon can turn it off or turn it on. And in this case you see a file that appears if we just take and hold the space bar for the hand tool, we move it around, it seems to be a solid image, but if you look in the layers panel you see a list of items with thumbnails and eyes. These are individual layers. This image is actually made up of five separate elements. The white background, the yellow square, the red circle, the green triangle, and the star, the blue star. All are independent, although you see them right here. The way layers work, as you see in the panel, the background is at the bottom, and everything else moves its way up the ladder, and the visibility is from the top of the stack down to the bottom, just the way you see it, top to bottom. Notice that the star is visible above the green triangle, and you can see it overlaps it, so you look down through the star at the green triangle, and below the green triangle is the red circle, and below that is the yellow square, and all of them are above the white background. That's the way layers work from a visibility point of view. At the left side of a, of a layer, you see an eye. This is the visibility icon. You can turn the layer off. Let's just turn off the red circle by clicking and you see the red slash. Now it's not visible. It has not gone away. Its visibility is only turned off. And this is extremely powerful because now you can have all sorts of layers in an individual file. And perhaps if you're making a graphic design for a client, you can turn on and off one series of layers and you'll have one visible image that you can save out separately or display to your client and then by changing the layers on and off it changes the image into another graphic design all contained within a single file by simply